In this video lecture, we are going to derive an expression for the relative density or specific gravity of the liquid which I have taken as oil over here with respect to water and that too using an Archimedes principle. Basically, this is an experiment and the link of the experiment is given to you in the description. We are just going to understand the relative density expression over here. You can just watch the video from the link below and you can understand this entire experiment. For this experiment, we require the spring balance, stone. Of course, the stone is heavier than the oil and water which we are going to take over here. We, we would require two Eureka cans, one filled with oil, another completely filled with water. Both of them should be completely filled till this mark. We would be requiring the weighing balance, two weighing balance and then two beakers, right? We can actually do this experiment with the help of the single setup as well, but then we need to repeat it two times, one for oil and one for the water as well. So in the picture it is shown that we require a single spring balance over here with the stone, then we are going to immerse it inside a Eureka can which is filled with oil and then filled with water. So we are going to immerse it step by step. So first of all what am I going to do is I am going to suspend the stone with the help of a thread and then I am going to record the weight of the stone in the air. So WA is the weight of the stone in the air, VS is the volume of the stone, correct. Now I am going to place the entire spring balance with the stone over the Eureka can which contains oil and the oil is completely filled. Then I am going to gently lower this stone inside the oil and you will see that as I lower the stone some amount of oil will start displacing out. So now this stone is completely immersed and you will see that the oil which has displaced out has been collected into the beaker and its volume is VOD. So VOD is volume of oil displaced and the weight of the oil displaced is WOD. The weight of the stone in the air was WA. Now it will show less reading over here due to the upthrust. So upthrust by the oil would act on the stone due to which the weight in the oil will be slightly lesser than the weight in the water. So WO is the apparent weight of the stone in the oil or simply the weight of the stone in the oil. Now I am going to remove the stone out of the oil. We are going to clean it and then we are going to immerse that stone again inside the Eureka can which contains water. So the moment I am going to immerse this inside, the water will be displacing out like this and this will be the volume of water displaced VWD and WWD is the weight of the water displaced and since the water is also going to apply the upthrust due to this upthrust there will be decrease in the weight compared to the weight in the air and now WW is the weight of the stone in the water. Now of course we know that upthrust formula F is equal to rho L volume immersed into G. Now since volume immersed in G is same in both the cases oil as well as water because full volume is immersed G is same but the density of the water is larger so upthrust by the water will be larger than the upthrust by the oil which means this reading will be less than this reading because stronger is the upward force lesser will be the weight in the liquid. So this will be of course lesser than the weight in the oil, right? Now we'll write the relative density of oil with respect to water. Of course it is also known as specific gravity which is equal to density of the oil upon density of the water. Now please make sure you are not supposed to say that I know the reading of this as 1000 kg per meter cube. No, we are supposed to measure this with the help of an experiment. So we know the oil which is over here and the water over here, the displaced ones because we know their volumes and we know their weights because this is beaker and it contains graduations. So we have to substitute these values over here. So density of oil can be written as mass of oil. Now I'm supposed to write down displaced because oil is over here and oil is over here because this oil is important to us, not this one. This oil, we have its weight and the volume both. So we have the measurement, so we are going to consider this one. So mass divided by the volume of oil displaced divided by the density of water. So divided by mass of water displaced upon volume of water displaced. 
This can be also written as mass of oil displaced upon volume of oil displaced multiplied by reciprocal. Now these two are going to get cancelled because the same stone is immersed inside two different liquids. So the liquid displaced volume will be equal to the volume of the stone. So whether it is oil or whether it is water. So we can also state volume of oil displaced is equal to volume of water displaced. So getting cancelled which leaves us with mass of the oil displaced upon mass of water displaced multiply g up and down. This is the weight of the oil displaced upon the weight of the water displaced. Correct. Now we know that as per the Archimedes principle the weight of oil displaced I should write down weight of oil displaced is equal to upthrust of the oil that is equal to weight in air minus the weight in oil. So WA minus WO. Now weight of water displaced is equal to upthrust by water which is equal to weight in air minus the weight in water. So instead of this I am going to simply write as specific gravity of oil or you may also write down relative density of oil that is with respect to water of course is equal to the WOD. Now instead of WOD I am going to write down instead of WOD I am going to write down weight in air minus weight in oil upon WWD is simply the upthrust or upthrust is also equal to weight in air minus weight in water. So this is the formula that we were supposed to derive.